The Media and Development Conference is themed Bridging Democracy, Innovation and Media Sustainability in Africa. We have with us Mr. Mboho Eno, the Deputy Director of Alf Accountability Program at CGID to elaborate more on uh, the aim of this. Now, good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning. <laughs> thank you for having Welcome me. Welcome to Daybreak, Mr. Mbo. Thank so, you, sir. Walk us through, you know, um, what the aim um, of this conference is and what should people expect? Because there's a lot of expectations, you know, on uh, journalists in Africa in, in general. Okay, basically the Media and Development Conference is um, a gathering of uh, media practitioners. It's also a gathering of professionals in different fields around development. Um, civil society and of course citizens to discuss issues that have to do with uh, national development, issues that have to do with uh, sustainability of the media and also innovation uh, largely around uh, media and, um, and national development in Nigeria. So the aim basically, as I said, is to have that conversation, proffer solutions and also see how the media can serve as um, not a threat to uh, national development, mm -hmm. but rather an enhancer of national development. Uh, in recent times, we've seen, um, we've heard of, uh, of um, the government, uh, not just in Nigeria, across the West Africa region, um, trying to kind of cage the media through some uh, not too nice bills and legislations. So uh, this um, conference, we hope, will provide an avenue to have a conversation and get to have a middle ground to say that uh, media generally is not a threat, but also it, it's, um, it's a, a, uh, the media is an ally in national development. Yeah. All right, so uh, innovation, media sustainability in Africa. Whenever we hear the name CGID, what comes to mind is of course building the capacity of media practitioners not yeah. just in nigeria but across Afri africa so um i read through you know the expectations you know from the events and i saw things like um uh, artificial intelligence i saw things like building capacity on social media leveraging on the internet and all of those issues uh, however let me ask this uh, how much uh, do you think the Nigerian media industry and media practitioners are doing and do you think that we are meeting up with global best practices if not what do we need to do to bridge this gap because of course you're trying to bridge democracy innovation and media sustainability in Africa I think that the Nigerian media ecosystem is actually growing and it is um, as a matter of fact developed over time and within the confines of its restriction, I mean, of the environment in which it operates, we can say that the media ecosystem in Nigeria is really doing uh, the best it can. But there is still a whole lot more it can achieve. And that's why we're having these conversations. Um, we're trying to build the capacity. Um, we will not also uh, actually say that we are there yet because we also have a number of challenges we have a number of um, um, issues facing the media ecosystem as you've read one of the components of which we'll be talking about is the sustainability of the media and we also need to talk about uh, things around how do we begin to innovate in our programming in our engagement in uh, I mean the general outlook of the media contents that we put out. So basically, I would say that uh, we are not there yet. Yeah, we are not there yet, but we are not definitely uh, where, where we start. We <laughs> yes, Indeed. We, we and and, and we that's a beautiful <laughs> thing. I mean, at, at the end of uh, the tunnel, everyone yeah. wants to see the light. So speaking of light, I mean, uh, democracy is what you're pushing, the first instance. And yes. we're seeing the election that will definitely unfold right before our eyes, yeah. uh, Bayelsa, Imo, and Kogi. Uh, so what uh, does the CIG conference have in store, you know, in order to clear 
other misconception of media uh, portraying election uh, results and you know followings and findings in a way that say that it sometimes favor the government and not coming out you know boldly to show that this is exactly what's happening that we're not doing enough yeah, well if you're saying that uh, the media portrays that's the impression that the media gives uh, then that will be an indictment <laughs> on on the media and the entire yeah, media ecosystem uh, but i would rather say that um, part of the conversations around this conference is about democracy democratic governance um, the parley between the government and the uh, government and also to say that um, the media, the conference aims to, as I said, bring all of the stakeholders within the democratic space together to have some level of conversation. I mean, we can't exhaust the conversation, we know, right? Uh, but uh, we can also start a conversation around um, democracy, around fairness, around uh, I mean, accountability within the sector. Uh, one other thing that uh, appeared um, that can also foil that kind of conversation is also that when the uh, elections are conducted, um, we tend to uh, see a number of uh, suppressions that happen uh, within, uh, I mean, whether voluntarily or not. I mm. mean, some media outfits tend to kind of. Uh, self-censor i mean to favor whatever mm. uh one part uh, one part certain interests yes certain interests and uh, and um that's conversation we need to actually continue so because uh, our mandate is supposed to be a neutral one as mm. media we're supposed to be neutral we're supposed to give uh fair airtime we're supposed to give a fair playing ground to every party and I think that's one thing we continue normally need to sus I mean, um, uphold at every time. So um, one of the sessions that we'll be handling at the conference is basically to take a look at the foreign direct investment, uh, foreign, I mean, loans, um, grants, uh, yeah, um, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure, uh, development that is tied to loans and we know that one way or the other these have a direct impact on the government okay so uh, if I know one yes. be, before we wrap this up uh, you spoke about fairness you spoke about neutrality and I, I like this the, the theme of this event so much bridging democracy innovation and media sustainability yes. in Africa so it's two parts right so there's yes. democracy innovation yes. and then there's media sustainability now if we tie it down to fairness and neutrality I mean it's almost seeming as if the the, the game is already rigged against the media who do not have you know in this situation the opportunity to even play neutral or play fairly because in situations where for example you want to be fair to the people mm -hmm. and it ends up being anti-government what happens the government tries to censor mm -hmm. you know and build the big stick so in this situation how does the media navigate these instances where they have no choice than to be subservient to the government or else they will lose revenue in terms of advertisements promotions and the likes of that to survive the Nigerian climate. Yeah, so uh, that's one of the reasons we will be talking about sustainability mm. of the media because b generally we all know that um, if you're depending as a media practitioner, as a media owner, if you're depending on advertising as a source of revenue, that's fast dwindling in our present economy. So uh, we'll be looking at other means of the media getting funding that can enable them to um, stay afloat, mm. engage in their event, I mean uh, in their business without fear or favor and still be neutral. Because at the end of the day, it's about our ethics. It's of about course. the ethics of the media. Mm. And with your ethical in your operations as a media outfit, uh, come what may, even when the government is not really in favor of what is being done by the media outfit they, they just really, have to they say really it. Don't, don't, <laughs> they really don't have a choice indeed all right mr mboho quickly yes. uh, tell us when 
is this event going to happen? Okay, so the Media where? Development Conference, Media and Development Conference 2023 is actually the maiden edition and it's going to be holding at um, Abuja Intercontinental. Abuja Continental, Continental Hotel. Hotel. Formerly Sheraton. Uh, yes, Hotel. formerly Sheraton. That's in um, Abuja here. And it's starting on the uh, on Monday, the okay. 13th and 14th. Okay. Um, so it's a two-day convo. But there we also have a number of side events. Okay. That's going to happen on the 15th. All right. So people should expect a lot. <coughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Right. Boho, and our Deputy Director, Accountability Program at CGID. Thank, thank you so much.